Hi, Tim here. Today we're going to talk about resizing your images for printing. Some sort of photo editing software is required to resize an image correctly. If you don't have Photoshop, Photoshop Elements works well too. In any case, a photo editing software of some kind will be needed. Today I'll be using Photoshop CS2 on a Mac. You'll be able to follow these same commands on Photoshop on a PC or on a newer version of Photoshop as well. There are many ways in which to resize an image. My goal here is to show you quick and easy steps to achieve this. Please realize there are many other ways to achieve this as well. One of the most common issue that comes up almost every day is the issue of image resolution. What that means is that in order to print your image correctly, there are a few requirements. The image needs to be 300 dpi at 100%. Here's what that means. If you go to the image menu, image size, your height and width should be the actual size of your print, right here. So if you're doing a 6x4, it should say 6 inches by 4 inches. And the resolution needs to be 300 dpi. To start with, let's take a look at the rulers in Photoshop. They are located at the top, here, and the left hand side, here. I currently have my ruler set to inches, you can set up to centimeters if you like. As you can see by looking at this image, you can see that it's approximately 54 inches by 36 inches. And if we go back to the image menu, image size, you'll see the overall resolution is 72 dpi. Standard resolution on most digital cameras is 72 dpi. The images are shot at a very large physical size so that they can be reduced and increase the resolution for print at different sizes. And we'll go into that shortly. Now, if you don't understand resolution, don't worry about that because we have another video that explains resolution in depth. So you can check that out if you'd like. I just want to keep this simple and quick for you right now. Now remember that our image is physically very large. And that is what will give us our high resolution image when we're done. With that in mind, let's get started resizing this image. I'm going to show you how to resize this image to a 6x4 inch print. The first thing we're going to do is to go to the image menu, image size. You'll notice these boxes at the bottom left, right here. You want to make sure that the resample box is unchecked. You want to highlight the resolution. And before I type in the resolution I'm going to want to use, let's take a quick look at the dimensions of the image here. And currently it says the image is 54 by 35 point something. Now if we change this resolution to 300, you'll see that the physical dimensions of this image change as well. Go ahead and hit OK. By unchecking the resample box and changing the resolution, we have made the image smaller without throwing any data away. If you look at the rulers, it will confirm that the image is now 13, approximately 13 by 8 and a quarter inches. We want this image to be 6 by 4, so let's go back to the image menu, image size. Let's make sure that we have the resample image, and these other two can be checked as well. And then we're going to go to the width box and type in 6 and hit OK. If we go to image, image size. You can see our image is 6 inches by 3.993 at 300 dpi. And this would be close enough for just about any print project you have. But now if you've actually got a frame that is exactly 6 by 4 and you want it to fit into that, I'll show you how to do that next. So to back up, I'm going to go up to the edit menu, undo image size. We're back to that 13 by eight and a quarter approximate image size. Now before going any further, I need to explain that, the, that image proportions define everything. For the sake of time, I'll just share a few of the common image proportions you'll need to resize your images for print. There's three to two, which produces a three by two inch or a four by six inch print. These proportions can be flipped as well to read two to three to produce a two by three inch or a six by four inch. Other common proportions are four to five, producing an 8x10 photo, and 5 to 7 producing a 5x7 photo. Having said that, let's go to the marquee tool in the upper left of the toolbar, right here, and click on it. Go up to the style drop down dialog, and we're going to want to choose fixed aspect ratio, which I already have chosen here. Since our picture is in landscape orientation, we're going to want to do 3, three wide by 2 high. You could do this two wide by three high, just depends which way your image goes. Now we're gonna go up to the upper left corner, 
we're going to left click and drag open a box this is the marquee tool or marching ants we can drag this image around to wherever we like to frame the picture however we want once we have it framed the way we want we'll just simply go up to image and go to crop and your picture is now cropped to the proper orientation and proportion to actually be printed at a 4x6 or 6x4 print. This crops the image to the correct proportions. We can now go to the image menu, image size. Making sure that these three boxes down here are all checked. We're going to want to go to the width and type in 6. And you'll see that the height drops right to 4 at 300 dpi. We hit OK. We now have an exact 6 by 4 inch image at 300 dpi ready for print. At this point you want to just go up to the top, go to File, Save As, navigate to wherever you'd like. I'm going to put this on my desktop. Name it whatever you'd like to name it. In the drop down you can choose JPEG. Sometimes you see a JPG that's fine as well. Click Save. In this additional options box we're going to make sure that the uh, slider bar is slid all the way to the right to maximum. Baseline standard and hit OK. Your image is saved and you're ready to go for print. That's it. You can drag your image to the jump drive, CD, or email it to your favorite printer. I hope you found this helpful and that it will take a little bit of stress out of your life. Thanks for watching.